Cameron is rolling whenever you are ready, sir. All right, how's it going, guys? My name is Juan from San Antonio. Uh, I'm a commercial salesman. Uh, and like I said before, my previous uh, grocery experience for 15 years. Um, like yesterday, when I asked questions, y'all had the deer in the headlights look. I didn't know what meat was, uh, what types of meats y'all are buying. Steak meats, I'm sorry. Um, of course, here's, oh, I'm sorry. Here's uh, the three choices I was talking about. There's your USDA Prime, Choice, Select. Mainly you see these two in grocery stores, but this is the one that, I'm pretty sure everybody buys this one. Select? Yeah, pretty sure everybody buys this one. And yeah. yes, the more red, the it's just not good. I mean, it's good, but it's just not. Why is it not good though? It's just it's tougher. <laughs> no, it's, the fajita meat is probably a lot better. Um, so which one's the one to buy? What's that? Which is the one to buy? The one to buy one is, $5. is this one right here. Prime. Prime meat. That's the one you want to get. You said they don't carry that most grocery stores? Most grocery stores don't. Your steakhouses do. Well, and hotels do. It'll say Prime. say Prime. Oh, it's 40 bucks for a steak Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, where do three, cho three beef choices come from? Best beef in town, USDA Prime. I put that little money sign there because that's what it costs. That's what it costs. Per pound? Per pound, that's what your steaks should look like. But per pound, fifteen ninety seven <coughs> per pound. Mm. Now, do you know, a prime beef is tender, is juicier, has more marble look, and it's perfect. It's a perfect meat for date night. Perfect meat, <laughs> red wine, the whole shebang, cheese, everything. But did you know that prime beef is not an older cow? It's not a calf. It's kind of like a juvenile cow. It's a younger cow. It's a teenager. You're years. I'm probably about five years old, maybe, if even that. A younger calf, yeah. It's it's just a better quality meat. They're not. They're still running around, but they're not like the parents where they just kind of. Uh, they have to make you know. They're just standing there eating. Um. That's one of, uh, that's prime. Uh, the prime, of course, you're gonna find it in, like I said, steakhouses, hotels. Um, you will find them in grocery stores. Um, I don't see them in Walmarts. Um, I don't see them in, when we went to Florida, I think there's a Winn-Dixie there. I didn't see it there. But most of the places you're gonna see them. Food chains, say it's prime, but I'm, more likely it's probably gonna be choice or select. Not the best, but better than the rest. Choice. It's not prime, it's not select. It's kind of in between meat. Um, that one, that one you are gonna find in grocery stores is popular. You're gonna find that everywhere. You'll find it. But there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's not as a uh, marbly look, as you can see, but it has plenty of it. There are some grocery stores. HEB is one of them that will put prime on it. Um, only because, I guess just because of the marble, they'll do it, but on the tag, you are gonna pay a lesser price. And the price for that meat, it's gonna run you eight ninety seven a pound. So, it's, it's a good meat. This is a, you buy this type of meat when you're in between checks. <laughs> the end of the month. <laughs> that's when you buy, that's when you buy that meat. Non -day yeah. Favorite, yes. It? Yes. That's when you buy that meat. Uh, this one is. This one is. Uh, this one is a. Uh, it's. It's a. It's an older. It's an older cow. It's not. The, the in-laws come over. Right? That's no. You don't want to give them that. <laughs> not even when your in-laws come, you want to give them that. <laughs> um, the cow is a little older. Um, they're not as young but they're not as old, but the beef is just as good. Um, like I said, this is just, this is a wonderful steak. It's just as good. There's nothing wrong with it. What's that? No. What's that? 
the only bear that's No, no, you don't. No, you don't want that. Does it? Does anything have to do with uh, the amount of fat in it? Uh, yes, some of it does have to matter because of the fat. The more fat. The more, goes. not the more fat, but the more of these marble looks here. So when you season it, when you, uh, or when you leave it in a marinade, like Ryan talked about yesterday, that fat absorbs all the seasoning, all the, the, the marinades that you want to add to it. And man, when you cook that steak, you're going to notice a difference. And I'll show you the next one. It's beef. It's just beef. And that's the U.S. As you can see, I put a $2 and a couple coins, triple, you know, it's not that much. That one is what you want to serve your in-laws, like you were saying. But that one is going to be six ninety seven a pound so that's your in law that's in law state that's entry that's entry level meat and that's what it looks like tough meat minimal flavor the tenderness is not there as you can see there's nothing in the middle it will shrink it will dry out faster all this fat around here it'll just end up just that's basically what you're gonna eat all this will shrink. It won't absorb the seasoning. It won't absorb the flavor of your of your marinade. It's just a hamburger patty. And this is uh, what we call back in that in that industry. You call it poor man steak. That's what it's called. <laughs> no, that's probably better than that. <laughs> but yeah, this is an entry level steak. Like I said, six ninety seven a pound. This is what everybody buys. I'm pretty sure it, you don't even know it. Once you read that tag, now when you read that tag, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a leg, I don't want that. You're gonna toss it back, you're gonna get you a, I want prime, they're gonna look at you like, I ain't got prime here. <laughs> so now you're gonna wanna look. Now you're gonna pay attention. And when you're in between checks, you know, go for the, go for the choice. <laughs> now, this next slide I'm gonna show you is, uh, is uh, they sell it out there, so. Don't be surprised. And you can't really see it here. But all this right here, all this brown, it's really green. It went from, it went from costing $13.05 to $9.94 to 100% freshness guaranteed. You know that. <laughs> and this meat, was, this meat was probably injected from another competitor. They inject phosphates in them, water, preservatives, just to because by the time it leaves their warehouse to, uh, to the shelf, it's already got two to three weeks old. Versus a competitor, which is HEB, which is USDA prime beef. That's a hamburger patty. Uh, so I couldn't get you a, bigger, a better picture, but look at that. The marble still in it. It's a hamburger patty. As you can see here, guaranteed or your money back. Guaranteed. So if you live in Texas, like most of you do, Always go by that. Then you go to HEB. And it's got this shield, USDA Prime Beef. That's HEB. Yeah. Everything they do, they try to keep in Texas. They try to keep the farmers, uh, everybody local. They try to keep them with, with money in their pocket, as long as their freshness is there. And believe it or not, the produce like uh, like um, Ryan was saying earlier, the produce that, that some of the ag parts that he wants to get into, that produce, when they pick it, when it leaves their farm, it's sent at the HEB warehouse within 24 hours. So that's how fresh it is. So here's some pictures. Where does the cut come from? Of course, here's where your ribeye comes from, from ribs. Here's your brisket, your chuck, your loins. Uh, somebody has, somebody said they ate T-bones, they like eating T-bones. <coughs> New York Strip, who likes New York Strip? Would you, what would you pick? New York Strip or uh, T-bone? Same thing, T-bone. Wait, wait, hold on. <coughs> what, would, what would you eat? What'd you say? Did someone, T-bone? So, why would you pay a dollar, two dollars more and not eat a New York Strip? The New York Strip is the beginning part or the end part of the T-bone steak? All it is, it just don't have the bone. So for a dollar or two dollars cheaper, you get the same meat. So what bone is that? The T-bone. 
It's got to be this one here. Right here. Right here. Yes. Yep. The bone does. It does. But let's say you, uh, let's say you, you want to marinate it. Some people don't like to because the bones start to get that calcium. Dang. Yeah. Let me show you one more. Bam, aged beef. Everybody's excited, but that's your 10 minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>